It's been eight months since Tekken 8 launched and till this day there are still so many misconceptions about Raven's hit. There are people that think his hit is just downright bad and people that think it's just nothing special. Up until this day people still don't know how to utilize Raven's hit. So in this video I'm going to talk about the mistakes that you should not make with Raven whilst in hit how to optimally use his hit and just show you guys as to why Raven's hit might not be as bad as you think it is. So let's get it. Okay, so first let's talk about how Raven's hit works. Now I've done a guide on this and if you already know, please feel free to skip ahead of the video. But for those that don't know, let me explain. So Raven has clone moves. We all know this. His purple clones are in neutral or at least when he is not in hit. Every single clone move that Raven has is minus 14 on block. They are all unsafe at minus 14, except his backswing blow, his back 1 plus 2, which is minus 15 on block, so it's launch punishable. Now, this does not include moves such as his parries. Of course, those are just like parries. They don't really count as his attacking clones, right? <laughs> all those are minus 14 on block. They don't even do any chip damage, like they don't do anything. They just hit you basically. They just hit the opponent and leave you hella punishable. So when Raven goes into hit, he first gets an additional clone and his clones become minus three on block. So they become safe and minus three. They also glow orange and deal some massive amounts of chip damage. That's one aspect of why Raven's hit works. Very simple, easy to explain. The second aspect of Raven's hit is the fact that every clone that he lands on hit replenishes his hit. Not on block, just on hit. So due to that fact, you want you always want to land clones on hit when you are using Raven. This works in combos as well. So you also want to switch up your combos to add clones so that you can regain hit. So like for example, his war combo, his max damage war combo is like back 2 to 3, the war ender, but that has no clone in it. So when Raven is in hit, you want to switch that up for like down back to 1-1 one, one, so that you can replenish some hit after doing that particular combo. It also changes one of his moves. So Raven has a running three move. This move is pretty good. I mean, pretty decent overall. It's plus on block. It does do some chip damage in neutral, but that's about it. However, when Raven goes into hit, the running three now becomes a launcher. It adds a clone to the move, and this becomes a full launcher that launch that screws on natural hit. That's the only move that's altered when Raven is in hit. Everything else stays the same. So that's Raven's hit, simple and straightforward. Now, the first big mistake that Raven players make is not utilizing his while standing 3-2 whilst in hit. As we all know, Raven has a strong full crouch mix-up because of full crouch down forward 3 plus 4 or his quick sand low. The only problem is Raven does not have very good mids to mix this up with. Everything that he has that's strong to use as a mix-up in terms of mids is unsafe. All standing 3-2 is minus 14. Remember, it's a clone move. All standing 1 is minus 14 as well. All standing 3 plus 4 is minus 12. So you don't really have a very good mid to use as a mix-up. Like Law, for example. Law has a slide mix-up along with his up forward 3, which is a very good mid that takes him into hit, safe. Shaheen has a full crouch slide and full crouch down forward 2, a strong safe mid that knocks your opponent down. Raven does not get the strong treatment because you might argue that his full crouch 3 plus 4 is way stronger than Shaheen and Law's full crouch slides. When Raven goes into hit, while standing 3-2 becomes safe. Remember, it's a clone move, so it goes from minus 14 to minus 3. So always, always, and I mean always, throw out a while standing 3-2 when you go into hit. And even if it's blocked, it still does a massive amount of chip damage. I'll talk about this later. So it's a win-win either way. And most people don't like to duck when Raven is in hit because they know about this fact. They know about while standing 3-2. So you want to use that opportunity to go for full crouch sweeps when you are in hit. You are wasting your hit if you don't use this. You are wasting one of Raven's biggest strengths when you don't use his house standing 3-2 whilst in hit. This is pretty obvious, guys. I don't really have to spell this out for you, but I've seen a lot of Raven players burn their hit early, use raw running 3 a lot. You know, you don't really have to do that when you have such a strong mix-up when you go into hit. So guys, please, please again. This is perhaps his most valuable tool when Raven is in hit. The fact that this move becomes safe, it's godsend, right? We need this as Raven mains and so you have to always, always utilize this move. 
So the same applies to using Raven Sozone mix-up whilst in heat. So the classic Sozone mix-up with Raven is between Sozone 4, counter heat low, pretty pretty strong, and Sozone 2, which is a safe mid heat engager that's minus 9 on block. And that's the problem, right? You're stuck between a launch punishable low at close range and a minus 9 mid. And the problem is you can't really use Sozone 3 plus 2 as an alternative to Sozone 2 because Sozone 3 2 is minus 14 on block. It is a clone move after all. When Raven goes into heat, this move gains more value because it goes from minus 14 to minus 3 and again does chip damage. So your soul zone mix up becomes very, very strong or becomes way better. And in my experience playing Raven, people like ducking and Raven is in soul zone. So this is especially strong because you land the hit, you get some hit gauge back. So you don't lose any value, right? At the wall, it was splats, and that's why it's very, very strong. You can do some pretty good wall setups at the wall into a soul zone mix up between the low and the mid so stuff like going into hit right you go into hit and instead of going for running three which a lot of raven players love man raven stop using running three that much holy shit but instead for going like a running three go for a soul zone mix up instead go for a full crouch mix up as well Another noticeable mistake from Riven players is the incorrect use of his back turn 221. So as we all know, back turn 221 is a 10 frame counter hit confirmable string, meaning you can visually see if the first two hits land on counter hit and then finish the whole string. And remember, when Raven lands his clones on hit, he does regain some hit gauge. So this is like the best string when it comes to gaining your hit gauge back because most of the times you can counter hit confirm if the move lands and regain your hit back. And the second hit can also be cancelled into soul zone. So it creates like so many mind games off of this is just crazy like this string is so versatile i would make a guide just for this string alone it's just that good so in back turn you must have some really good setups for this so for example back for four right hold the second four is plus one and puts you into back turn so it's a very it's a very perfect frame trap to use for back turn two to one especially when you are in hit back turn forward four is plus four again another very good setup for this running three when you go into hit and don't do running three four just do running three on its own just for the plus four the plus four is enough because it is a frame trap as well for back turn two to one so i'm just giving you guys some examples or some ideas on why two to one is very valuable especially in hit the fact that you can actually counter hit confirm this string means it has so much value so even just two two on its own does some decent amount of chip damage and you won't waste your hit if you don't want to you can cancel into soul zone if you know they won't press buttons because they know the last hit is coming cancel into soul zone and go for a soul zone mix up instead soul zone four soul zone three two in heat so that's the idea again back turn two two three is very versatile guys it's very versatile this is just a tip of the iceberg of what you can do with this string and you must utilize it as well which brings me to the issue of chip damage. Raven's hit is actually one of the best in the game when it comes to chip damage. I think it's up there with Alisa and Leroy as well. Literally covered much of Bobby versus Rest yesterday and you saw firsthand at just how much chip damage this character can do. Like people be saying, bro, Raven's hit is just basic. It doesn't do much. Clones are minus three. You can't do a lot with minus three. Have you seen the fucking chip damage? Like what? <laughs> The chip damage is pretty stupid and very realistic as well. So if you want to turn off your brain with Raven, in hit, just go for chip damage, right? Sometimes this character is, you have to think a lot with this character, but sometimes it's good to turn off your brain once in a while and just go crazy. And that's what you can do if you want to go for chip damage. Moves like down forward one four, like your go to twos if you just want some quick chip damage. I usually love to do this when my opponent's health is low or like somewhere halfway. Take some chip damage, then go for like lows afterwards to take away their gray health. That's the idea. Even running three, running three, four is more so used for chip chip damage than it should be used for the launcher right going to hit running three that means you want to chip away at their health no one force riding three anymore these days people even step it after hit so don't spam running through a lot unless you want to go for chip damage options and this is why i said while standing three two is very valuable when you are in hit because even if they don't duck the full crouch mix up you still get to chip away at their health so most valuable tools when you are in hit and you want to chip at your opponent's health is down forward one four dash up or while standing three two 
So finally, where does that leave down forward one for? Okay, so the most value I've found with down forward one in hit is as a strong with punisher or just a punisher in general and at the wall for just pressure, right? Because down forward one four does not gel. So if you do down forward one four, if they press buttons, they can get hit with the follow up, right? So you have this kind of mix up. Is it only going to do down forward one or is it going to do the whole string this is very strong at the wall because now their back is against the wall they can't just randomly mash buttons after ravens down forward one and remember all his hit clones are minus three that is the exact same frame data of a general down forward one a generic down forward one most down forward ones in this game are minus three so throw out a clone right here minus three you can still move around look for that whiff look for that with punisher boom down forward one four get a wall splat in my opinion that's where you get the most value for your down forward one the other being cheap damage as well as i talked about earlier this applies to down back to one as well so two one one down back to one one has the clone at the end but it is mid high so you do have that mind game you can also cancel down back to one into soul zone and three plus four afterwards so there are like so many mix-ups you can do from this kind of like back turn two to one as i spoke about earlier but down back to one as well just the same as down forward one is used in the same sense right the same idea is you're gonna do the whole string and throw out a clone afterwards it's just going to do down back two on its own and with the opponent's back against the wall it gains even more value because you get the chance to get a full wall splat so the idea behind down back one and down forward one four for the best value you can get out of these two moves whilst you are in hit do not make the mistake of just spamming these moves with no end goal that's the worst possible way to use raven's hit so there you have it guys these are some of the most common mistakes that raven players make whilst in hit and so these tips might help you maximize his output and just get the best out of raven when you are in hit so if you enjoyed this video why not check out this one 15 essential tips that can improve your raven if you're trying to get better with him